So what's up toxic gamers, today we got 10 seasons worth of drama to discuss, yay! You know the Assassin's Creed situation, today the volcano erupted, alright? We're gonna get into it, like this video if you think there are 2 genders, dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Now for a minute, right, like suckers have been beefing, right, like we have been beefing, 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 uh, and people like, hey we don't want a BBC Samurai in Assassin's Creed Shadows because the game is set in Japan, therefore there needs to be a Japanese protagonist. Agnes. Then people started like editing history left and right over on Wikipedia saying that he's a retainer, saying that he's a uh, samurai, right? So there was a fight happening. Yeah, we beefing, we beefing, we beefing. And, and after that, people were like, okay, you know what? Like, how long can we fight, bro? We need to come together and we need to settle this off. And you know what? We're tired of peop people walking all over us. This is how we're gonna fight back. So everybody was like, okay, you know what? Like, it's gonna be wholesome. He's just gonna be banging Asian chicks in the game. You know, it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be wholesome. He's gonna have a familia. So what? So what, right? He's gonna have a f familia and Ubisoft comes out and they say he gay. So no family. No family. And that's when like gamers were like mad, right? Like gamers were mad and today, Ubisoft got mad, everybody! So they responded. All right, we're gonna get into the story. Roll it. Gonna have to eventually say something against a supposed ch- yeah, Well, ladies it. and gentlemen, one thing we knew about the gaming industry was that it was only a matter of time before some of them felt like they had no choice due to the activists that are in their community that they let basically rule over them. They felt like it was no choice in the, in the matter that they're gonna have to eventually say something against mm. the supposed chuds, right? The the yeah. angry gamers that are yeah. ruining gaming. Uh, I, uh, you know, the toxic gamers, the problematic gamers, the gamers are wrong and you know what every company or everybody on this planet is like okay customers is always right it's only in the video games industry that the gamers are wrong <laughs> gamers are toxic <laughs> what the actual hell so yeah Ubisoft just did that and they're like hey we need to denounce gamers right we need to denounce gamers uh check this I mean, you know the ones they keep their pockets lined throughout the year while the wokies don't spend the fucking dime yeah those yeah. gamers yeah eventually that the gaming industry was gonna have to say something and apparently Ubisoft CEO you know the guy who I believe is the one who said that they were going to offer a quad a experience yeah. with skull and bones that <laughs> massive failure yeah apparently he is upset over the malicious and personal online attacks against his team members and the company's community manager oh boo -hoo. let me play a sad song for you on the Bruh. world's smallest violin breath breath ow now, I gotta oh. be honest with you guys, man. I have zero sympathy when it comes to Ubisoft. I don't think any of you guys... Um, no, I, I do have sympathy, but, uh... For gamers, guys. I have sympathy for gamers. Like, what what, what, do you think, uh, what what do you think I'm talking about here, bro? I got sympathy for gamers. Think about this for a second. Gamers are the most chillest people on the planet Earth. Stop the cap. You don't believe me, right? You don't believe me. Some of you are like, no, bro, like, we toxic, right? We toxic. Guys, like, come on, man. We are the most chillest people on this planet. They always sell us uh, in unfinished games and we buy it. They always push, push microtransactions and we buy it. Right, they always tell us we're toxic and we're like, hey, 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 hey. we're not, and but but we but we still buy their bull squash. We're the chillest people imaginable. The only thing gamers uh, do is complain, but then they still buy the games, right? Like we still support the product. So like, yeah, right. Like they push woke ideologies on us. They call us like toxic, problematic, and we eat it up though. We eat it up. Gamers are the most chillest people ever in every other uh community in every other sphere field right like you go try yeah go out there try to buy a car and if the car dealership guy is a little rude to you right you're gonna walk away Je that's what happens generally you know you, you actually disrespect the customer the customer goes but you know in gaming everybody's like yeah whatever oh yo that's cute you know that's cute oh my god yeah this time uh you know the game oh shit okay so you couldn't make the game run at 60 fps it's a 32 fps thank god it was not 30 fps thank god i'm gonna go ahead and buy the game that's like gamers bro gamers are the most innocent species ever on the planet on planet earth what are we talking like the video if you agree with is too. I have literally zero sympathy for any of these mainstream gaming companies that are utilizing DEI as a means to try to line the pockets of the CEOs, executives, and whatnot 
that mm. work at this company, including mm. Yves himself. So we got mm. an article here this from That Park right Place. Now, it says Ubisoft CEO Yves, or however you say his name, says that he's dismayed about malicious impersonal online attacks directed at team members and company's community manager appears to have animus against white men. So let's get into this article, guys, from That Park Place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Like, like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. It says Ubisoft Yves stated that he's dismayed by alleged malicious and personal online attacks that have been directed at Ubisoft team members and partners. Now, now, I do agree that certain gamers, they lose their way, right? And certain gamers, they actually get that kick of estrogen and they start sending like heaven proposals to some of these devs. Bruh. That's a no-no, guys. Uh, like, don't send heaven proposals. We we gotta come together as one, and we we gotta. And, and general, generally speaking, most gamers are, voice their opinions, right? Uh, in a in a decent manner, right? But there are just few that do send heaven proposals. So I'm aware of that. You know, uh, that that's the only that's the only criticism. Uh, we we gotta take accountability on that one. But other than that, bro, like gamers are the most chill people ever, though. You know, we complain, right? Uh, for the right reasons, sometimes maybe not. But generally speaking, yeah, gamers just want a good product, bro. It's easy, easy, simple, bro, simple. We just want a good game. We just, yeah, right? And we're gonna praise you. We're gonna love you like nobody ever loved you before, right? We're gonna love your product. We're gonna buy your product. We're gonna support your product monetarily, right? Like everybody's gonna be like writing their 10 out of 10 reviews after that, even if the game was not even a 10 out of 10, right? Gamer are, gamers are the most chillest people imaginable, bruh. We'll be talking. And uh, now he says that, no, bro, like we need to denounce gamers. Gamers toxic, gamer problematic, gamer this and that. Listen, man. Listen, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like this guy right now. I am tired of people walking all over us too. This is how I'm gonna fight back. We need to get this suit. Like this video for this suit, bro. Partners. In an interview with Lucy O'Brien, Ubisoft Director of Editorial Communications, that was published to Ubisoft's website. He was asked, I would like to uh, end a two-part question. First part, what dismays you about the games industry right now? He responded, one thing I am concerned about right now is the malicious and personal online attacks that have been directed at some of my team members and partners. I want to make it clear that we at Ubisoft condemn these hateful acts in the strongest possible terms, and I encourage the rest of the industry and players to denounce them too. I am proud to support the amazing work of our team and partners and i will always trust in their creative choices we should all celebrate the hard work and talent that goes into making video games he concluded okay ladies and gentlemen it is time for the roasting session to begin uh yves i'm sorry but the way that you have denounced us uh in your words what is it the strongest possible terms yeah i'm gonna have to counteract that and say that the majority of gamers denounce you and the bullshit that ubisoft and other companies like you have been trying to do for the last few years it's amazing that you will denounce uh, you know whatever you want to call it, harassment yeah. or actions or malicious and personal online attacks whatever from us but you will never denounce the attacks and the online malicious bullshit that mm. your community managers mm. that your developers that your team members do on a daily basis yeah. you guys want to sit behind your office and pretend as if you do nothing wrong pretend as if oh you're just getting this for no absolute reason whatsoever go fuck yourselves you guys are full of shit in every capacity imaginable because we know that there would be no rage without something to rage bait in the first place. You guys are the ones that are causing this bullshit in the first place. You want to virtue signal to everyone yeah. about how you're so morally superior because you hired XYZ amount of black people for the year. <clears throat> Congratulations. You're so fucking amazing. You're patting yourselves on the back. But then when other people will not pat, your, uh, pat you on the back for you, you get upset. Well, go fuck yourself. Like I said, Yo, we hey, 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 tranquilo, papi chulo. Tranquilo, 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 very like tranquilo, brother, tranquilo, damn homie. Damn, brother. Yo, brother need, like, uh, something, man. Can can a brother get some Kit Kat right now? Can a brother, like, yeah, like, uh, maybe some Red Bull. Oh, no, not Red Bull, guys. Uh, if you give him Red Bull, he's already right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the mental pressure is already there. But now, I, I hear it. I hear him. I hear him. And, and truly, though, it is insane, right? So they disrespect the Japanese culture by having a BBC samurai in the game. And, and then they disrespect the black culture as well by stereotyping him by having the only black character in the game and making him gay as well after. <laughs> Bro, what, what the actual hell? And they also stereotype him with, uh, whenever he walks around and whenever he's like slicing everybody, hip hop music plays in the background as well. Like, I mean, duh, bruh, I mean, duh. Like, I mean, bruh, I mean, not duh, I mean, uh, bruh. bruh. 
Like, what, what we doing here? Uh, my bad on the mess up on that dying, bro, man. I, I, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not gonna cut it from the video, but... Condemn you in the strongest possible terms. And I encourage the rest of actual real gamers to do the same. Just like you encourage... At this point, you guys clearly want a fucking war at this point. That's just what it is. And as cringe as that sounds, that's honestly what's going on. Now you want to come out and do this whole denouncement thing. You realize that the people that you're virtue signaling to are not the ones that line your pockets, right? There's a reason why... Why they, some of your games have been failing recently and it's Fence, on the downward Fence, decline and now Fence. you got Assassin's Creed Shadows coming out I hope it does well for you, I really do but chances are it's probably not going to do as well as previous iterations of Assassin's Creed and you know that because now you're looking at remaking the better versions of Assassin's Creed so you can garner mm -hmm. more money for the same fucking product it's ridiculous man and now you're saying oh you, we should all celebrate the hard work and talent hard work and talent is not what's at the form of discussion right now nobody's discussing the lack of hard work and talent although i gotta be honest with you the lack of talent is very staggering it's pretty obvious but <laughs> nobody's yeah. arguing that well yeah ar quadruple a games my ass right like even rockstar games even gta 6 is not considered a quadruple a game i i guess people will general generally speaking people would call that a quadruple a game maybe even penta penta Pentuple, pentuple, is that how you would say, like, syncable? Or, I, I don't know how you would say, like, uh, yeah, triple, quadruple, penta, I guess penta, penta, <laughs> penta, A games, maybe. Maybe that's how you would say, right? Yeah, they can come out tomorrow and they say, yeah, uh, we Rockstar Games, uh, we're making a penta A game. But then it was GTA 6 and people will be like, oh, damn, tranquilo, tranquilo, papi chulo, tranquilo, right? But, but like, yeah, they can come out and say that, but we're talking about Ubisoft. Even, even Rockstar didn't say it's my point. Even Rockstar didn't say their project, their game is quadruple A. But Ubisoft, out of everybody, they're like, ah, yo, bro, like, hey, hey, it's quadruple A, bro. Like, hey, quadruple A, uh, 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 quadruple A, bro. It's quadruple A, man arguing is a dei nonsense being injected into the game dei nonsense is being used to i think it was triple a game but the fact that it had plus dei that became quadruple so the the quadruple part is with the dei stuff and the to stuff. foster some sort of like fake i don't know community within your own development studio like you guys are such full of shit you're so full of shit it's obvious and you're trying to make this into something that it's not you're trying to make it seem oh the big bad angry gamers are coming out to get me just grow a fucking pair at this point yeah, man yeah, yeah, we're yeah. not supposed to like your product just because you did hard work to put it out hard work doesn't mean that the product is great hard work Facts. doesn't mean that we're Facts. automatically supposed to like it no matter what and eat your shit no Facts. that's not what we're supposed to do Facts. uh it's unclear exactly what he's talking about given that he does not share any evidence of course he doesn't or discuss what these malicious and personal online attacks are yeah, yeah like show me like what kind of toxic gamers we're dealing with right like uh, uh yeah have you seen the toxic gamers like what what what, what have you seen like what, what is uh yeah give us like some sort of like example we wanna we wanna see it too right but guys check out this video on the screen recently we had a lot more stuff coming out about dr disrespect yeah there's some drama going on of, of it as well and some people are saying he's not guilty after the news story. i'm not sure what's going on man check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left